What's going on you guys? It's your Huggable Hipster here and welcome back to Bloodborne and the Old Hunters DLC. This is actually going to be the last one because I am determined, I am determined to fight both of these bosses in the same episode. It'll probably be a massive undertaking and will probably take me several days to do and multiple clothing changes, but I am determined. So we're gonna get back into Lady Maria. I even looked up some of her story. Some of her story is just tragic. My goodness gracious. Man, if I were an Elden Ring, I could slide right down there. Too easy. Too freaking easy. But then again, this is Bloodborne and then the map it has to end somewhere. So, you know. All right, let's see what's gonna happen with Lady Maria. And Visceral, yes. Yes, I love a good Visceral. All right. Nope, nope. Yep, there we go. Boink. Yeah, the fight really kind of does get trivialized whenever you go into a ah, her second phase, not second phase, when we're talking about her um, visceral stuff. Oh, she can. I don't think I've seen her shoot the. I don't think I've ever seen her shoot her gun before. That's interesting. OK, I'm not really mad at that. I'm just that's interesting. Don't necessarily want to beat these last two bosses with anybody else, but depending on like how hard they are, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like I, I've been told by some people like, oh, yeah, well, you shouldn't be fighting bosses in the Bloodborne DLC with anybody else. <laughs> that's like, but then again, it's a game. Play how you want to play. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Come on, Maria. Let's go. We got no, 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 no. Oh, I shot at the wrong time. Shot at the wrong time. I'm really curious to see how this goes now that I've seen her second phase, which by the way, um, a little bit of an update. I took some time to myself um, and I didn't realize that someone was going to pop in and everything like that. So um, I did do a little bit of co-op with someone for this boss battle and I got to see how um, how it works. And her, her second phase is absolutely a oh, holy crap. <laughs> Her second phase is just unreal. Um, I, I absolutely love it. It looks so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of um, boss, uh, boss battles from Sekiro to an extent. So, you know, now we know where we got it from, <laughs> you know? So I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. But um, yeah, now time to fight her on my own. Because there are times that I like using co-op. There are times I absolutely love using it. But there are other times of where like I just... I'd rather fight it on my own. And with a game like this, um, oh, no, hold on, there we go. Uh, with a game like this, um, especially with bosses like this, I, I, I want to fight it on my own, you know? And why? <laughs> why? We're getting her though, which is really good. Now she's probably gonna go into her second phase. Ma'am, ma'am, calm down. Okay, calm, calm yourself, please. <sighs> See, look at that. That's just beautiful. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. We're gonna get her. 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 Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <gasps> So excited! We got her. We did it. Gosh, I need a I need a sip of my Coca Cola. I got three insight from that. That's actually pretty cool. And thirty nine thousand. Well, oh my God. Okay, Whew, boy. It's one of those fights of where the term "get good" comes into play of where you just gotta practice this. Like this fight becomes so incredibly easy when you know how to utilize parries. Right now I'm a 94 with a 42 skill and that's what I think got me through this. So, <laughs> Celestial Dot, uh, okay, cool. Um, I think we have to use it to go over there so we can go to the next part, which is the final part where we're going to be seeing the area and the final boss, Orphan of Cause. I am not even ready like i i am my soul is ready but i'm not ready physically mentally emotionally i'm not there yet i can't believe um this dlc is over so soon honestly i feel like i just started it which technically technically i did um 
I, I didn't think I would get through it this fast, in all honesty. I thought that I, I was just going to be on this for like a month. I over-exaggerated my head more than I should, but still, it's it's really it's really cool. Like the practice that I've gotten over the past year playing all of the Souls games and everything like that. It's just really cool to see my my work come to fruition of where I know when to dodge, I know when to parry, I know when to do all this. It, it's just so cool. Okay, so let's go skill. Yes, perfect. And I'm going to get a lot of health. I have 13,000 of that, so eh. It need to be wild <laughs> if I actually got the guy in like one shot. That would be incredible. That 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 would be absolutely amazing. That's the dream is to go into a boss for the first time. Actually, no, wait. I did that dream because the first <laughs> the first time I ever went into Bloodborne, I fought the um what is it? The uh the church beast, whatever it is, it was an optional one that you could fight at the very beginning of the game. Got that thing in one shot, and that was my first time playing Bloodborne. So that that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. But I mean, like, imagine getting Orphan of Cause in one shot. That would be incredible. I'm recording this at the nighttime. How do these guys know? Hey, men with the small pee, -pee we get it, okay? Time for prayers. You must accept sobbing. I must accept sobbing. Oh, no. Wait, why is there... It looks like there's a tomb here. Oh, boy. Where is this? Oh, lead elixir. I never found a use for the lead elixir. That man's knowledge? I love that. Brigginworth. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, so fun fact. Um, rocks that looks like it's actually shells um rocks or sh eh, in this case shells that are put on top of one another is a sign of prayer in jewish tradition it's a sign of you know kind of a may peace be with you sort of thing like you know there's a person who's thinking about the dead person so it's it's interesting that they put that in there i like that little touch hi you're not gonna kill me Oh, okay. Fishing Hamlet. All right. Oh, now I have eight. This is really cool looking. Oh, okay. I like this area. Who'd have thunk that in Bloodborne, you would have a fishing Hamlet? I was just thinking all like castles and werewolves and all that kind of stuff. Oh, 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 what do you, 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 oh god, I don't want to fight you. I do not want to fight you. Okay, did great. That's a good call. That's a good call. You want to fight me? That's great. Um, go back under the sea. I don't want to fight you at all. That's okay. Now I know why this area looks so familiar. This is an area that was in, um, the graphic novel for Bloodborne. This was in the graphic novel for Bloodborne. Now I know why this is so freaking familiar. Again, somebody had to go into the booth and record themselves screaming, like, <laughs> oh God, that's one a hell of a job. I'm running from everything right now because I just want to see baby cause. Uh, no, 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 can't take a picture. Can't look at the sights. Not gonna do that. Oh no, it's Junichiro. I'm very, very intrigued at the lore behind the fishing Hamlet. There's, there's so much to this game, and there's so much that they added with the DLC. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm in love. I'm in love. I was always in love with Bloodborne, but I feel like I'm even more so in love than I was before. You guys can tell how excited I am to see Orphan of Cause that I'm just literally going through this entire area right now. I'm not even stopping to kill anybody. That's not nice. I want you to simply leave. That's not that big of a request, okay? Especially not from trolls that look like they just, you know, they look like the top of a mushroom. Okay, am I going to actually do it this time? Yeah, you're gonna fall. 
Oh god, that was definitely Jinichiro. Definitely Jinichiro. Is there going to be, like, a, a thing anytime soon that's going to... Man, wah! Who exactly are you and what is your purpose here destroying my life? Okay, so I wasn't supposed to go down there? Oh, okay. Maybe that was just for that. That's cool, regardless. Okay, so. What is, what are all of these? Okay. Wait. Wait, I recognize this. Over oh, there. <laughs> we're here. We're here. We're here. I recognize this. I recognize this. <sighs> My heart's like. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. We're here. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Oh, Jesus, Macarda. Okay. Oh, let's go. I'm ready. Like I said, we're not going to get into it fully, probably in this episode. Oh, but I'm here! Oh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here for cause. Some say cause him. Oh. Oh, oh no, now I remember this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. It's so sad though. Like when you think about all of the story in actuality, like this is an, an aborted fetus that didn't get a chance to be born. Like, damn. Oh, gosh. I mean, also cool, but ooh. Oh, there's that happy wacky placenta sacky. He's gonna be hitting us with that a ton. Oh, I thought it was a baby. I was like, wait a second, is that him? Oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh, freaking hell, Orphan of Cause. Okay, let's just try it once. Let's just try it. Come on. Whoa, okay, that's a big placenta sack. I need to- <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not upset, I am laughing because he's throwing stuff. <laughs> Sack at us. <laughs> Why is this funny? Why is this funny? Why is this funny? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm crying and laughing so hard. <laughs> oh boy, did we give it another go? So, um, <clears throat> I'm back, you guys. I'm back after a, a long break. Uh, some more coffee, which, by the way, it looks like the size of my effing head right now. And I enlisted the help. I recruited some help from <laughs> a friend of mine. Uh, welcome in, Jube, who I literally, I actually did not know, and we figured this out right now, that we've been friends for, like, almost six years. So, how does that happen? <laughs> no idea. First time <laughs> Yeah, honestly. Oh my god, yeah. This is our first time speaking in VC, and we've tried, like, I, I was even a, what was it, his video editor for a little bit. Hi, if you guys uh, saw him when he used to stream, those were some of the edits that you guys saw on his YouTube channel. So it, it makes the experience so individual for everybody, too, that whenever you're doing, like, grinding or anything like that, it's so specific across the board. Like, you're not going to see a similar build unless it's like what you're going into Bloodborne with. Right. Well, I mean, that's, I mean, that's the fun thing I think about all Souls games. Um, or Soulsborne, I guess, since this isn't technically Souls. But yeah, I mean, you could have basically the same, you've got the same things obviously available to everybody and the, and the characters you'll get out of it are always just going to be so wildly different. The replayability as a, as a player is huge because you can just, you know, spend your spend your echoes in a few different spots and just get a completely different build, and it's it's awesome. Yeah, it really is. 
Now, I'm going to, not showing this, obviously. New Game Plus, Yeah. I don't know if I was just rusty or what. I don't know if I parried him one time. Like, I really <laughs> had a lot a lot of trouble <laughs> trying to get his oh, timing no. back down. Uh, oh gosh <laughs> you know what cause is interesting because it's like i'm i'm not it's not that he's terrifying he's just quick and filled with cocaine <laughs> yeah let me because it doesn't waste the bell if i you know if the person doesn't like chime or enter into the game so let me log out and i'll exit the game okay and then i'll go back in so i'll do that too so is that just you straight up exit the game come back in yeah, and then you'll be in, like, the same place that you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that, too. Okay, so it's noticing that if there's an X over mm -hmm. the bell on top yeah. where you have, like, your health and all that kind of stuff, it means that it won't be searching for the bell. So you also need to be in, like, an area where the bell is being searched for. I'm so not sure I have if to that will apply to you as well. River? Yeah, I think you have to be in an area, like, you have to be in the same area as I am. You can't just be anywhere and well, just like I, ba -da -ba -ba -ba, yeah. well, you know. I, I don't have anything there. I'd have to beat the whole game to get back there. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Like, I'm just at Ludwig. Oh, you're just at Ludwig. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Okay. And I do not, by the way, I don't want to hear it in the comments section. How, oh, you need to fight this boss on your own. You need to do it on your own. <laughs> you, Karen, no. <laughs> if I need help, I need help, so shut it. <laughs> Up, oh, discovered a chime. Wow, that was fast. That's crazy. <laughs> that is just wild to me that it happens that fast. So many people are, must be like, okay, yeah, no. Now, this is so weird. It says each time the bell ringing woman rings a sinister bell. That's so fascinating that it happens each time. like these little ball sackle things that he puts onto the floor and explodes it's, it's not not cool no. oh well okay oh why is he throwing it oh no 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 sometimes i don't even know how to approach this guy it's like he's i i, I don't even know like he's really crazy and really erratic so his movements are very hard to predict sometimes i, mm, mm, I was just healing We make a good team, this person and I. Pretty awesome. Oh, nope, missed. <laughs> nope. Mm -mm. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Oh no, no, he went into the second phase. Oh no. Gonna be acting like he's on crack now. I don't- part of me just- oh no, did the person die? Huh, <laughs> they died. Oh no. Oh no. Let me try to get this guy on my own. Whoa, oh. That's beautiful, but also- what the- what the- no, what the what the what the what? This is really a much, a lot like Janichu. You really have to stay on top of them. Oh, okay, I'm still alive, I'm still alive. Wait, how am I actually doing okay? Oh, there's lightning, there's lightning, there's lightning, there's lightning. Hold on, I gotta hide. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. 
I almost, I, I'm, I managed to get like almost down to like below the white like line area. I literally almost got him too. Okay, well, I have three insight left, you guys. Let's see what happens. I think if you've, if you've seen phase two and you kind of are starting to see his attacks, then yes. Um, cause that, that is the game changer right there. I think you can get the timing for phase one down. Um, but it's really the, the chaos of what is phase two that, yeah. that, that kind of sets it all apart. So if you've made it there and you can kind of see what to expect, I think that there is hope, especially if that guy comes back. Yeah. Listen, you guys I literally just discovered, as you said that literally just discovered the chime awesome. again. It was that quick. We're both twirling around in place. That's cute. <laughs> oh, wow. I managed to dodge your placenta thing. That's lovely. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we're easily getting this guy down. This is becoming quite easy. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I'm dead. <laughs> I always think, oh, I can get in an extra hit. Lies. <laughs> that is what kills me most of the time in any Souls game, is that greed. I can get one more in, and then I'm dead. Well, while, while you fight Koss, I'm fighting Ludwig, so... Hey! It's a new day. Um, I have a Starbucks in hand, and I'm ready to take on Koss. Hopefully, for the final time. I, I, I Honestly, like, this boss battle has taken me probably... Almost as long as Ishin Sword Saint, I want to say. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready to get this gluten-free bread. It's going to um, get crummy in here. Because, you know, bread, you know, crumbs get... Never mind. You guys have no idea literally how much I honestly am struggling with this boss. I... 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 I you... <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. I've gotten it to a point now where I've practiced it enough to where I am doing consistent parries in the first phase. Are you Mr. Jumpy Jumperoo today? Ah, uh, boy, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, by the way, for my setup, I have the uh, triple claw mark on. Uh, just for this boss battle, oh my God. Just for this boss battle, I went in and I tried to locate the other two claw marks because I had one, I just didn't, oh God. I just didn't um, have the other two. Now they have the other two. It's up to, I think, like, boink. Uh, come on, come on, please let me get you. Yes, I can get out of I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. I don't know why. Like, out of nowhere, I just, I'm very, very nervous right now. Is it just me, or does it look like they're praying to the mother? Like, it looks like they're praying to the mother. Not to the orphan, but it looks like they're praying to the mother. Come on. Oh, come on. Who's a good wacky wacky placenta sacky? Okay. All right. That's what I like. That Look at that damage, though. That's what I like. That's what I like. That's what I love. Oh, no, not that. I don't love that. You can take that. Go away with that. Come on, shoot. Yes. Oh, my God. That... That's tasty. That's tasty. I love that. That's tasty. Oh, I guess these. Oh, no, I guess. Oh, this is what I get for needing to seize. Oh, I'm not seizing, though. <sighs> I controlled myself. Come on, come on. Yes, what? This is a nice streak we're having here of placentas. A nice string of placentas. A nice string of viscerals is what I <laughs> meant to say. Jesus Christ. A nice string of placentas. <laughs> I'm spending too much time with this boss, I can swear. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on. Stop doing the wacky wacky placenta sacky and get over here. Thank you very much. There we go. <sighs> my heart is racing. I swear it's going to beat out of my freaking chest at some point. Come on. Don't. Okay, he's not going to toss him. I love whenever you don't toss your sacks in my face. You see, that's a proper time to go into your second phase, not when it's like only halfway through your, your bar of health. Oh, what? 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 Come on. 
fucking- I want to get a visceral in your second phase. Let it- Let me- Let- Let me- Oh my god. Let me- Let me- Let me- Oh, okay. Look, come on. No, 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 no. Stop. No. <sighs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, how am I dodging this, by the way? Did I hashtag get good? <laughs> Am I a god? <laughs> oh no. Please don't do anything. Please don't do anything bad. Please don't do anything bad. Please don't do anything bad. Oh no, I'm gonna get hit. I got- Okay, well, not that bad. Okay. I don't know how I'm dodging the- Whoa, ma 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 So please don't, please don't, please let me live another day. Let me live another day. Oh, 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 oh. Heal, heal, heal. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Oh, no. Uh, oh. <laughs> this guy, this guy is a child on crack. This guy is a child on crack. Oh, no. I'm almost there, too. I'm almost there. Please let me live to see another day. Come on. No, 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 no. Please come on out. <laughs> come on. No. Oh, thank goodness gracious. Thank goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Wait, am I actually can I am I actually going to get this? Am I actually going to do it? Is he actually going to succumb to my will? <gasps> what? Wait, hold on. <laughs> you should get this. <laughs> I Hi, I'm back. Okay, so I took a moment. Um, I relaxed. I swear this video will have the most outfit changes in all of my videos ever. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I can't believe I got that guy. I was absolutely positive at a certain point that I would need to have co-op, which is why in this video I'm including my attempts with co-op, my failed attempts, just at, like as many as I can count, I will put in there. Um, I don't know exactly how many will be in the total count. I'll have to count all of that in post-production. But yeah, I'm, I'm of course not going to show all my attempts or else we would be here for hours. So let's continue. Um, there's a shadowy thing over there. I don't know what that is. I might have to deal with it. Um, I beat Orphan of Cause. I beat one of the toughest, probably the toughest boss in all of Soulsborne on my own. So I don't know what that thing is over there. Um, I'll go over there in a second. I just want to see how far you can go. Because at one point I hit a wall over here and the eye is still looking weird. Oh, wait, nope, that's the wall. That's where you can't go up to. It's pretty far out. Like, I think this is the biggest boss battle arena I've ever encountered, but you know what? It makes sense for how vigorous cause is. So, um, let's see what this thing is. What is that? Hello. Oh, I can go through it. Hello. Hello. Um, is that like cause? Like the spirit of cause? Oh. What did I do? What did I Oh, damn. Okay. Cutscene. 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 <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Ah. Sweet child of God. Returns to the ocean. A bottomless curse. A bottomless sea. Accepting of all that there is and can be. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that is so sad. Guys, the DLC is done. It's all done. I'm gonna upgrade a little bit before anything. Um, yeah, and that's uh, that's Mama Kaz. So I, I kept mistaking it at some point. I was like, oh, you know, it's it's uh, I kept calling cause um, like the orphan. I kept calling it cause, but it's not. It's actually it's just the orphan. It's not cause this over here with the face. That's cause. 
So, um, yeah, apparently he was a great one, or the, uh, the son of a great one. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe that's actually over. <laughs> I can't believe that that's over. So, uh, the next part, which I'm not going to record, I'm just going to do it on my own time, since I just wanted to do the, um, the Hunters DLC for this. Um, the next part is going to be taking on... So the next part is going to be taking on Gearman, Moon Presence, and the Fumerian Queen. And then I have to get, like, the Hunter's weapons and all that stuff, and then I've platinumed the game, which I'm very, very happy about. Okay, repair. Yes, please. Oh my gosh. I still need to fight Lawrence. I might do that at some point. I need a break. <laughs> I need a break from, the, from this game for a little bit because, my goodness gracious, Oh boy, that was that was intense, you guys. That was an intense boss battle. That was that was very very much intense. I'm not going to be fighting Gearman at all right now. I'm going to probably at some point take on the Sumerian Queen first. That way I've taken care of that area before I take on Gearman. Because once you take on Gearman, then you get thrust into New Game Plus, and I'm I'm not about going into New Game Plus right now currently. So <laughs> that'll have to wait just for a little bit. And especially I want to give a major shout out to Foolish Systems. He was one of the people who you guys saw in co-op. Awesome, awesome dude. Absolutely just killed it whenever we were playing co-op. So thank you so much for the help whenever I was first trying cause and I thought there was no hope. And then what do you know, I got him by myself and I'm very proud of that. So you guys, that was it for this playthrough of the old Hunters DLC. I, we managed to get that done quicker than I thought to be honest, because this episode is pre-recorded way before this even came out. Like, I already uploaded the other episodes and all that kind of stuff. This is being pre-recorded on... what day is it today? It'll probably be out on the 23rd and I'm recording this on the 7th, so yeah, that it's way, way ahead in advance, you know, pre-scheduled. So, but yeah, it's it's really was such a fun boss battle. Um, I just, I don't know what else to say. Like, what do I do with my life now? Absolutely crazy boss battle absolutely crazy. One thing I, I did notice is that it was very much like fighting a boss in Sekiro. So if you like Sekiro, if you love that kind of game where it's very fast paced, it's very like you have to keep up with it, you're going to absolutely love this boss battle. But you guys, yeah, the next playthrough that's going to be coming out is Uncharted 4. I'm very excited to play that game. Very much looking forward to it. And that'll be the next playthrough. There are other reviews I have to get to, but then after that, there will be that playthrough. So if you guys like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell down below. I make videos here every day on YouTube. And with that being said, stay casually nerdy, you guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. May you find your worth in the waking world, dear hunter. See ya.